Now, with all the hype surrounding Delta Force at the moment, let's not forget who's the real master of the genre. And that, of course, is Battlefield. While Delta Force will most likely be the talk of the town over the next year, for us military shooter fans, Battlefield is, at least historically, the master of all-out war military shooters, with a reputation of offering massive, immersive, and ever-changing gameplay. However, while I acknowledge the greatness that was Battlefield 1, 3, and 4, that ushered in the current era of massive casual military shooters, I'm not going to sit here and act like Battlefield is an industry-leading IP, at least not anymore. With the marketing fumble of Battlefield 5 and disastrous, well, everything that was Battlefield 2042, that's why I and so many other fans of the genre are excited and currently enjoying Delta Force, a game that's finally making good on the promises of Battlefield 2042 and just with its alpha, showing that an industry leader like Battlefield has zero excuses to not be offering more content at a larger scale and higher quality. In fact, Delta Force's alpha is already proving that this genre and this sort of content is viable, and if anything, the next Battlefield should have every right to reclaim its identity and take back its position from the new kid who's trying to copy their homework. While Battlefield has been great in the past, for at least six years, the franchise has slipped out of the gaming zeitgeist and left its throne unattended. What I'm trying to say is that if Delta Force can come out of nowhere, offer a larger, more content-rich experience, with deeper customization, more modes, and a single-player campaign, then the granddaddy of the industry has no excuse to not come back next year better than ever. And as fun as Delta Force is, there's plenty of opportunity for Battlefield to regain its status as top dog, especially with all the support, developers, and money going behind it. So from community management to content offerings, hit subscribe and let's talk about how Battlefield can regain its title as the quintessential casual military shooter. Right off the bat, there's no escaping it. The next Battlefield needs more content, but also a return to its original identity. And I don't just mean more maps like so many fans keep asking for. With the backing of a nearly $40 billion publisher, which makes about $7.4 billion a year in revenue, there's no excuse for EA's top premium shooter to be offering such little generic content. With Apex dying, Titanfall killed off, and games like Mass Effect, Dead Space, Crisis, Medal of Honor, Battlefront, and more totally dead or missing in action, EA is forcing itself to put all their eggs in Battlefield's basket, which has seemingly caused them to water down the franchise and lose its identity. They should have been ready to double down on the only in Battlefield identity with 2042, but instead offered less content than any game in franchise history, no campaign, a half-assed extraction mode that was immediately killed off, and the removal of Battlefield's cinematic magic. Whether it was laziness, cost-cutting, or technical shortcomings during 2042's production, the franchise cannot repeat that huge drop in quantity and removal of its core identity. And while DICE has been touting quality over quantity since Season 1 of 2042, we all know it's a pathetic excuse to limit content and cut down on support for a game people already paid full price for. The way Battlefield beats Delta Force is to offer the same amount, if not more, content, but also lean back into its epic, cinematic traditions, something Delta Force will never be able to touch. In the era of Warzone, Delta Force, and games like Elden Ring, players are expecting these billion-dollar companies to actually create content at a reasonable quality more consistently, something Battlefield has always been able to do with great pride until they suddenly forgot with 2042. Much like Delta Force, the next Battlefield needs multiple pillars of gameplay, with an expanded all-out war experience, the return of single-player content, and at least one-third mode, like co-op missions, 
a totally reworked portal, map editor, or something trendy like an extraction mode. And before you start commenting about how all we need is more maps for core modes like Conquest, remember we used to get things like co-op modes, campaigns, rental servers, DLC war stories, and more. And those were included in games that got more support at a higher quality with those breathtaking only in Battlefield moments. So stop making excuses for DICE and EA and raise your expectations. In an effort to make Battlefield mass appeal, they've instead stripped the game of its core identity, its massive, epic offerings in both content and personality. A big part of this return is that Battlefield needs to double down on that classic identity that made it an industry leader. The next game and all its content needs to recapture the massive scale in cinematic moments that made players think only in Battlefield. In identity, games like Delta Force, Insurgency, COD, and Greyzone could never come close to. Not only does this game need to deliver more content, but simply cranking out generic maps like Battlefield 2042 isn't enough. It needs more content with the heart and soul that games like Battlefield 4 delivered on over a decade ago. EA, in their own words, says they have multiple world-class studios working on the next project with cutting-edge technology that will produce the greatest Battlefield ever. So don't take my word for it, take it directly from the mouth of Andrew Wilson. The next title needs more high-quality, true Battlefield content than any game before it. And there's no more excuses, something even the executives acknowledge. Next up, not just do we need more maps, weapons, and content, but the player systems like progression and guncrafting need a ton more depth. Again, something Battlefield used to be actually pretty decent at with games like Battlefield 4. But since Battlefield 1, the franchise has been falling behind, creating empty progression systems limiting weapon customization, and not rewarding the player for their time and achievements. These are all things that games like Delta Force are looking to capitalize on, adding in loot systems to their extraction mode, offering dozens of attachments per weapon, and hosting a straightforward progression system to earn weapons, gadgets, operators, attachments, and more. Good job, dude. Throw in daily challenges, in-game contracts, and player customization, and Battlefield has been falling behind the likes of even Halo for years. Battlefield has really lost its epic military immersion and has been feeling more and more watered down and generic. Allowing players to have more agency in how they utilize their weapons, more creativity in how they express themselves, more options when it comes to progression, and more immersive content would mean a stronger core loop for your true fans who are willing to stick around, buy DLCs, and sink time into the game. Now, obviously, the more systems the game has, the more opportunity EA has to destroy them with monetization. But that brings me on to my final point. Now, I can't believe the fanbase has to continue preaching this, but holy shit EA, listen to your actual paying customers. Listen to the consumers of your product, not random, trendy streamers who've never picked up Battlefield before and who you're paying for a positive review. Host actual, genuine closed alphas like Delta Force did with senior Battlefield creators like JFrags, Matimio, and the rest. Talk to the actual people who are going to pay for this game. Take their feedback on board and remove stuff like the specialists, bring back features like RSP, and get fans involved in the process. Because whatever focus groups or aging board members you're listening to have no idea what the actual audience wants. And while I'm on the topic of community feedback, DICE and Battlefield need to totally revamp how they interact with their fan base of paying customers. The way DICE and Battlefield's Twitter has just become an automated page pushing cosmetics is a total joke. 
while community managers from games like Delta Force are out there engaging with real creators, reposting organic content, answering questions, and getting ahead of potential issues like pay to win. However, perhaps when your staff are busy on Twitter harassing fans after DICE scammed them with the release date of 2042, maybe it's best to just limit all communication. But in all reality, DICE, EA, and Battlefield need to reform how they engage with the fanbase. Constantly glazing a few loyal creators while you ignore the rest of the player base, endlessly pushing cosmetics after you've already ended support, and inviting a random selection of non-Battlefield creators to test and promote the game is tanking Battlefield's reputation as it continues to show how little they actually care about the average Battlefield player. In total, Battlefield has the money, the staffing, and the experience at this point to make an incredible game. But if they continue down their current path, games like Delta Force are going to continue to copy their homework and take their place. Battlefield has neglected its original identity and offered such little value to fans over the past few years that they've left the door wide open to competitors. And while almost nothing can beat the greatness that was Battlefield 3 or 4, that peak was 13 years ago, when Battlefield was truly innovative. They have every ability to look at the market, put their massive staff to work, and reclaim their top position, but at the end of the day, I'm not too sure that they will. But guys, will Battlefield regain their position atop the market? Drop those comments below, stay tuned and subscribe for all things Battlefield and Delta Force, and as always, thank you guys for watching.